turn now to the deadly school shooting in Georgia. The 14-year-old suspect and his father will both remain in jail after appearing before a judge this morning. Lake Easton joins us now after watching those back-to-back -back hearings. Hey, good morning to you, Nikkel. Yeah, so this was the first time the 14-year-old suspect and his father appearing before a judge after that deadly shooting claimed the life of four people, two teachers, and two students. 14-year-old Colt Gray sharing the same courtroom as his father, 54-year-old Colin Gray Friday morning. Family members of victims watched as the teen was seen escorted in shackles around his wrist and ankles. The father, dressed in a gray jail uniform, barely making a sound in a quiet courtroom Friday morning. According to arrest warrants, the 14-year-old is accused of opening fire at Appalachia High School Wednesday. We learned last night his father also charged in connection to the deadly shooting after authorities believe he purchased the gun used in the school shooting as a Christmas gift for his son. No doubt stories like this weigh heavy on parents like Lori. Her daughter that you see here, Alyssa, died in the 2018 Parkland school shooting. It is frustrating and it, it's also painful because... I feel like I need to do more, that I'm not doing enough. And I know that this is, is such a big problem. And I just hope that the elected officials watching, hearing about another school shooting, that they take action to do something to prevent this from happening, create layers of safety protection so that our kids are safe when they go to school. And so on that note, we spoke to her about how she's turning her pain into action. Coming up at 1130, we'll tell you how she's leading the effort behind a new device for teachers that actually saved lives in Georgia this week.